Okay, I'm back. I would say we had success in a sense. You know, the aluminum is pretty soft, so when you forcibly remove steel out of something that it does, just doesn't want to come out of, the aluminum doesn't like it all that much. But anyways, all that talking. We got the stud out. We picked up the center like I showed you in the last video. Seemed to be pretty good. Step drilled it. I didn't want to put a lot of tool pressure on the setup right there. I didn't want to sock down on these bolts real tight and really jack that thing onto the knee real tight. So I was uh, going easy on it, you know? That's, that's my MO, I was taking it easy. So I step drilled it. I drilled it like 093 through. I could felt I broke through the bolt. Then I step drilled to like uh, 156. And then I went to a 187. And then I went to a 235. And then I went to a 250. And it still wasn't looking all that good. But then when I went to the 257, which is the tap drill for a 5 16 18, I drilled that 257 hole in there and it almost came out. A lot of the screw was just, it just went away. The, the drill grabbed it, pulled a lot of it right out. So most of the remnant of the bolt, the stud, was gone by the time I went and ran the tap in. But as you can see, this is a pretty long right here and a standard tap. You can't get a standard length tap in there with the tap handle and everything else. It just doesn't fit. So I had to make one. I had to modify one. Took a 5 16 18 tap, turned the shank down, made an extension for it, and silver soldered it into the extension right there. So then I got enough length here to be able to go down and tap that hole by hand. So I guess it looks pretty good. It's certainly not a class three fit anymore, but I think it's fine for an exhaust stud to screw into. So you got a. Uh, it's got like 12 turns, 12, 13 turns of thread there, and you got like a quarter inch of no thread at the top. So you could easily put three quarters of an inch of stud in there, and I think that'll be adequate for what it does. But anyways, here's the setup. Compound angle, like I said. Using the head bolts, well, the, the bolts that would bolt it to the cylinder over here, through here to attach it to this end. Screwed that bad boy on there, found the angle, drilled the hole, removed the stud, what's left to it, chased the threads. Like I said, they're not beautiful, but I think they'll work. I wouldn't want to do that with a pistol drill, even with a little guide bushing tool. Because even if you drilled that out, you still need the long tap to tap it. All right, so that's today's work.